Are you looking for a high-end power supply which is able to power something like a 3090 graphics card? Well, this may be the power supply for you. The front of the box is very basic, like most NZXT products, they call it minimalistic. Personally, if I was to see that on the shelf, I wouldn't really know it was an NZXT product at a distance. It doesn't really pop or stand out. All you can really see is a black box on there and C850 gold. The back and the sides of the box are multilingual, tells you bits of information about it being a power supply and it's powerful, efficient, a quiet, peace of mind, blah, 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 blah. The warranty specifications and stuff. Only thing it doesn't mention on the back is the length of the actual cables. I would have liked to see somewhere the actual length of the cables on the box without having to research it and look online. So this is what's inside the box, which is very interesting really because the power supply came in this nice cloth bag, which you could potentially use and keep, well, your cables in or something like that. But it actually does come with a bag, which you can put your cables in anyway. So it's sort of like, why do you need both of them? And the interesting thing, you think, oh, if they've included this, that's good for the environment. It's nice and reusable. Brilliant. But then they go and stick all the cables in plastic bags and put them inside the actual bag, which you can reuse. That's a little weird to me to be honest with you you should be taking all these cables out they should be in this bag here they shouldn't be in plastic at all i know the zips um sealed or whatever or where you can reuse those potentially but are you really going to want to reuse them after you've had bits of uh, cables in there otherwise you've got a power cable obviously depending on where you are it might look slightly different you've got four screws to screw it in with and you've also got a qr code Okay, so the cables what are included are all braided cables. They're all black, but they are braided, so they're not the flat black kind, so they're sort of more rounded in actual shape. So it comes with one 24-pin ATX power cable. That's the big one what pulls into your motherboard. Pretty straightforward. You've also got two 4 plus 4 CPU cables as well, so that powers your CPU, so if your motherboard needs... 8 pin 1, you've got an 8 pin 1, and you've also got a 4 or 2 8s, however you want it. You've got three cables here, which gives you two connections on each one for graphics cards. So that's six, six plus two connections for stuff like graphics cards and some peripherals. You've also got a total of six SATA connections to power things like hard drives or SSDs. And you've also got these cables here. They call them peripheral cables. They're, we call them Molex connections, but you've got six connections in total. Now, the actual length of the cables, the 24 pin cable, uh, which plugs into your motherboard, is 60 centimeters or 600 millimeters long. The 4 plus 4 CPU cables are 700 millimeters long. The 6 plus 2 pin PCI Express power for the ones for your graphics cards. They are 650 millimeters long to the first connector and then 150 millimeters to the second connector. The SATA ones are 500 millimeter long and 150 millimeters between each connector. And then the peripherals are 500 or also the Molex. Uh, they are 500 millimeters long with 150 millimeter uh, between each of the connections bear in mind these are all nylon sleeved okay so we've got the actual power supply unit itself it does come with a 10-year warranty it's got a dynamic 120 millimeter fluid dynamic bearing fan on there we'll take a closer look in a few seconds it's got zero rpm fan mode which basically means the fan won't spin if it's under low load so it makes it really quiet Ideal for SLI or Crossfire if anyone still uses that technology. You've also got enough power in there to power something like a 3090 graphics card or even something like a, the RX 6900 XT. Uh, and it fits in any standard, basically, ATX case. The cables are sleeved, which does help protect the cables from fraying and damage and obviously it's modular. So let's have a look at the actual power supply. So the bit, what you would have on when you're looking at the side of your case and the bit you're gonna see if you've got a shroud over the power supply is this bit here. You can see the NZXT writing and the model number there as well, which obviously 850 means 
its 850 watt power supply. On the top, which is the actual place I like to have this bit of information, um, because that's usually hidden with, uh, with your shroud, depending on how you've got your case set up. Um, but it does give you the specifications there if you do need them. The opposite side is exactly the same. On the back side, which is obviously where you plug your power cable in, you've got your rocker switch to turn it on and off. You've also got that um, slow or zero RPM fan mode to stop the fan spinning when it's under low load. Obviously, if you've got it on there and then you suddenly start gaming, the fan will then uh, suddenly kick in on its own and so forth. On this side of the power supply here you, is where obviously you plug in your connectors. So for example, your big connectors like your 24 pin one would plug into that part there. It is nice and snug once it's in and then you get the second part and plug it in to that bit there. And then you can just plug in the cables you need and want to use. So if you don't need SATA cables, you don't have to plug them in. Then on the bottom of the power supply or the top, depending on how you've got it positioned, You've got, obviously, the cutout where the fan is, which is obviously where it's going to be sucking all the fresh air in and then blowing it out to the back. And as you can see, it's a moulded top, so that means there's no, like, uh, bars they've had to screw on or anything like that. So the, the actual pattern is moulded into the casing. All plugged in now. Let me turn it on. Here we go. And test away. Let's see what results we've got. So yeah, five volt is pretty much dead on five volt. 12 volts a fraction off, but that's within reason, to be honest with you. 3.3 volts, basically the same. Again, 12 volts the same, five volts the same. Basically, that's pretty much spot on. That's as close as you're really gonna get on the ratings on a power supply. So that's pretty good. Uh, we are using a thermal take tester. Uh, as we don't have one for NZXT. Obviously, if they want to send some equipment over so we can test them more thoroughly, they are welcome to. So in conclusion, the power supply does, well, basically what it's supposed to do. It powers your machine, and we've got 850 watts worth of power there. It's gold rating. We tested it against other 850 watt gold power supplies, and it worked just as well and used roughly the same amount of power as well, which means it's quite efficient, which it should be with it being a gold power supply. We've got it in this new case from NZXT, it's the H7. We're also running a 12700K processor on a new N5 motherboard from NZXT as well, as well as a standard GeForce 3070 graphics card, not the low hash rate version. And it's able to power that with ease. We've had it running for 72 hours without any crashing or any problems like that. So it's done everything it says on the tin. So other than I wish the cables were flat cables rather than rounded cables with braiding on. Uh, but again, that's down to preference. Otherwise, it does everything it should, and I do highly recommend it. Did you enjoy that video about the NZXT power supply? Well, if you did, click this box up here, and you'll be able to say even more power supply reviews. Or if you want to see more reviews about NZXT products, click this box just here. We've got plenty of them, so make sure you click that box. Otherwise, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, like, you know the drill, guys. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.